Well, Kelly, Democrats are mapping out a path back to power in the Senate that relies on those moderate candidates in a growing number of competitive states. Just take a look at Iowa. Now, that used to be a long shot, but now Teresa Greenfield is neck and neck with current GOP Senator Joni Ernst. Now, Greenfield is a military mom. She's against the Green New Deal and expanding the courts, and she's billing herself as pragmatic rather than political. Meanwhile, in Arizona, astronaut Mark Kelly has been consistently ahead in the polls against incumbent Republican Martha McSally. His campaign is touting his independent leadership. And we're seeing similar dynamics play out in Colorado and in Texas. Now, this is not a new strategy. It is the same one that Democrats used back in 2018 to flip control of the House. And that is forcing some realignment in the business community. The Chamber of Commerce has endorsed 23 Democrats in House races this year. More than half of them are in districts that President Trump won. But for now, both progressive and moderate wings of the Democratic Party are united behind Joe Biden and the desire to defeat President Trump. But, Kelly, after the election, you could see a lot more infighting. Back to you. I think this is a fascinating point, Elon. The people shouldn't take for granted that a blue wave means one thing or the other. But at the same time, is there a difference between the way people run to get elected and the way that they end up voting? You know, are the people who run as moderates, do they actually prove to be uh, in terms of their track records? Sure. Political incentives are different pre- and post-election. That is certainly true. But, you know, you had this conversation, a great one with your guests earlier, about stimulus and what, it, what could happen after the election. I'll just point out that it's the, been the House moderates, the Democratic moderates in the House, who were arguing for standalone packages and standalone votes on things like unemployment insurance, on things like PPP. So you could see more pressure from moderate Democrats who get elected in this cycle to take those smaller votes. And perhaps Perhaps some discomfort with a really large price tag. So that could act as a constraint on the size of stimulus down the road, Kelly. That's true. Elon, thank you very much. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.